What's going on everyone? How you doing today? My name is The Leaping Lemur and welcome back to another video. Y'all, today with me, I have my good friend, Senor Chinchilla. How's it going everybody? It's Senior Chinchilla here and we're watching Tofia Chu. She's large and in charge and unlike most people her size, she's missing her Hershey and she's not even going to make an attempt to go find it. That's right folks and she's angry not just about missing her dog Hershey but also her Hershey bar and it seems like she had a complete meltdown and uh, today me and Senior Chinchilla are going to break that down. It's going to be a doozy y'all so make sure you strap in. Literally you have to live this life personally. I know that person in real person personally. All right, y'all, that was a clip from one of Tofia's first live stream she made. She ended up getting banned after saying she was gonna unalive herself as well as saying a lot of derogatory terms. What do you think about that, Chinchilla? What are your thoughts after watching that video? You know, it's really sad when someone like Tofia Chu, I'm probably only saying that because she's a girl and Tofia Chu hasn't done like, I guess the most horrendous things in the world when they get drove to this point, but there's a really simple solution to all of this. Tofia Chu is homeless. I assume that doesn't make her the happiest person in the world. You know, her family life is crumbling. I mean, her dad is Papa Chu. He's in prison right now where he belongs. And before when he was out, who knows what he was doing to her. A lot of bad things has happened to Tofia Chu. So I would say you probably need to get off the internet where you're getting harassed 24 seven and go get a job. But that's never the option with ball cows because Tofia Chu, she is firmly planted as one. Because if you think this is the end of the freak out, no. Just like her true love, Novo Online, she moves on to a burner account. That's absolutely right, Chinchilla. Maybe if Tofia got off of TikTok, she'd have more time to fill out some job applications. But no, she decided to go to her burner account and continue this crazy ass freak out. Um. I tried everything I could to save my dog, and she's missing. And this is why I didn't come to the internet, because nobody helps me. I love my dog. I had her for seven years. It's not fair, and it's every time they celebrate. <laughs> my poor dog is missing and no one has been helping me and they literally said they was gonna kidnap my dog that's why i didn't come to the internet for safety reasons <laughs> Y'all, Tofia tries her best to make it look like she actually cares about the dog and that she's crying because she lost Hershey. She even states at one point that she can't stop hearing people say she hurt her dog. I mean, y'all, this whole story is just fucking whack. You know, Lemur, it really is because her whole story has been all over the place since it came together. The one person who was truly hurt in this is her mom. And you know, she's gotta be. She trained Hershey to pee in Wendy's cup so she didn't have to let her outside. Hershey was a dog she was very fond of. You don't get many animals like that. But Tofia Chu, when Hershey goes missing, she barely puts any effort in. And the story she says is just kinda crazy, guys. Okay, look, if Hershey was a tiny dog, and if a pit bull who was ginormous as she said it was, 
runs into the motel room and attacks everybody, runs through everything, destroys the place, and runs Hershey out. Hershey, no matter what, as soon as I get outside, would have been ate by that dog 100 it doesn't sound pretty but that's the reality of it and even if hershey somehow managed to escape when she was talking about all the holes in the fence in the yards in the motel she was like oh yeah don't worry there's not that many holes it could get through except that one that one and that one over there but don't worry about those she was very unserious about this entire situation so it makes sense, especially if she's like hearing people tell her over and over in her head that she hurt her dog, that she probably did something wild. Exactly, Chinchilla. She's just crying to try to gain sympathy points, and it doesn't even make sense. This whole rant was a clear mental breakdown. It was incoherent, and she doesn't bring up shit that matters. Even later in the rant, she starts talking about celebrities and laughing about the whole situation. It's really weird. He didn't call me back. The lady in the office didn't care. Those people fled. They left with their dog. They have their dog. So that dog can do it again because it's not on a leash. And the lady was walking around dancing with headphones in from the office like, like everything's okay. Oh, what? <coughs> <coughs> What does your dog look like? We already told you. You had an attitude. A fucking attitude. When we told you. <coughs> and I had to sit there and hear that I killed my dog. That literally you put that out there on the internet for people to think that I hurt my dog. That's why, I, that's what makes me not want to be here. That's what makes me think I would be better off dead. People don't care anymore. <coughs> that's, and it exactly proves my point. Because my online friend literally told me told me it'll mess with your mental don't tell anyone on the internet so i kept it to myself and i only told a few people the person who sent my switch and my other online friend that's why i only felt comfortable to tell them my dog was missing because maybe they would help me they've been sending me photos and stuff saying is this is this your dog it looks like your dog I, I couldn't even say my dog went missing or put up flyers because then people would have harassed me because I would have doxxed myself. <laughs> and those people stood there while their dog was in my room still. They didn't do nothing. They watched their dog. And they had their dog. They left with their dog. They fled with their dog. Their dog is here. My dog's not. So the thing with Tofiichu right now is the story with Tofiichu and her dog is constantly changing. The first time we hear about it, she's talking about meeting the security guard out and about in the open. But now all of a sudden she's meeting her in the hotel lobby. Excuse me, motel lobby. And... There's also a point about it being a motel because she's saying she's not going to go to the internet about this because she's scared of getting docs. Well, from what I know about Tofichu, anytime something bad happens to her, she immediately ran to the internet, worried about nothing. She talks to her entire family, she shows everyone. So why is this a concern all of a sudden? Because in all reality, Tofichu, bad things happen. If that dog really did come in and run your dog off and you didn't find him, it's been over a month. Sometimes you just gotta get over things. That's how life works. You're not gonna make anyone's opinion change by getting on the internet three months down the line and telling everyone, oh, my dog's missing and I feel so bad. You're just driving yourself crazy. It's just time to get over it. 
that's just all you need to do bro exactly she wasn't worried about being doxxed she was worried about her reputation she put her own reputation before her dog and then went on this live stream and started having this fake meltdown it has nothing to do with her missing her dog she just doesn't want the hate anymore and feels guilty because she didn't do shit to actually help the situation and just got a bunch of other people to do it for her and when it wasn't efficient enough for her she started complaining about it i mean listen to her she's a selfish selfish person and it doesn't make sense that she would own an animal she can't even take care of herself well if only papa Chu was like president homie that way there'd be more hookers on the street to find hershey in his time of need and Tofia Chu could have went to one of them. Just pick him up right then and there. God, imagine a whole planet full of that family. Just a bunch of brother Chus, Papa Chus, walking around everywhere, breeding with each other. God damn, that would be sick. Fucking sucks, and I have to, and excuse my language, but literally, I have to hear that every time in my head, you unalive your dog. You unalived your dog. I think you killed your dog. I was fucked up to put that out there. Well, it does kind of seem suspicious because you didn't, you, if, if it was my pet, I would have posted it everywhere. And it proved my point because people started saying literally that they were going to kidnap my dog, which is what I knew was, is what they was going to do. These people was not going to help my dog. They was going to take my dog if they would have had the opportunity to and say we gave it a better home. Someone literally just emailed me and told me that someone has my dog. They found my dog. That is a lie. Oh, it's in a better home. I can't even live my life without having to address a lot of things. And it's not because I care too much. It's because some people literally are rude. And then I have to address why they're claiming some random man is my father on top of that. That's crazy. If it was anybody else, everybody else would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's because nobody likes me. Nobody really cares. <laughs> and I shouldn't say nobody because yes, people have sent me stuff and people have been really kind, but again, it hurts. No matter what I do, I'm ridiculed. For every little thing, I can't say something because, ooh, you're canceled. Every time I defend myself, it's an issue. <laughs> Even subscribers know that. This goes here, I think. But then that needs, I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just so frustrated at everything. It's just like everything that happens, they celebrate it. Sophia, no one was trying to kidnap your dog. There was numerous times on live stream where you were shown putting your dog inside the bathroom. You were like throwing pets. You have a bad history when it comes to animals. So of course, when somebody would see a pet that you owned on the street, they would want to take it and give it a better home. It only makes sense. I don't know why this is something to have a meltdown over. Also, what's with you playing that stupid fucking puzzle game? I don't know who the fuck has a meltdown and decides to open their fucking iPhone and play a puzzle game. That's wild, dude. H how do you think of that, Topia? You're literally sitting here crying about your dog missing while you're playing a game about leafs. And I'll also play a clip where Tofia is laughing after this whole meltdown and it really puts in perspective how fucking nuts she is, folks. Uh, just how I like it. <laughs> you can't say anything now, can you? 
Okay. Yeah, I didn't even know most of that about Topia Chu. I always thought Topia Chu at least showed a little bit of respect towards her animals because if she has anything in her life, I've seen her entire family. We all have. You think she would look to her little fur friends as support in that terrible home environment? But no, Topia Chu, she just became as bad as all of them. You know, it's crazy how in some families, some children will just become entirely different people from their parents. And in other families, they just all become the same person pretty much. That's Tofia Chu and her family. And after what I heard about you, Tofia Chu, what you do to your animals, you're locking them in hotel rooms, tossing them. Maybe they're exactly right. You definitely need to get the Daniel Larson treatment. You know, just like music, someone more responsible than you has to come, take your dog from you. And well, I guess that would have been the better option since you don't have Hershey anymore from either lack of responsibility or from your own doing to be you all right y'all that's all we have for this video i want to thank senor chinchilla for joining me oh it's no problem man thank you so much for having me here thank you everybody you know it was a blast doing this video if you want to you can come check out my channel at senior chinchilla and you can always find us every sunday at the barnyard at around six o'clock eastern three o'clock pacific standard time it's a blast and i'll give it to my homie to end this video for you guys thanks so much for having me all right y'all we'll see you in the next one peace